Hey everybody, I'm sorry you Glenn. Just call me Glenn. And we're back to more Final Fantasy. Last time we finally defeated Lich. And we got one shiny crystal sitting down there. All lit up in yellow. And then we get a random encounter. Well this time I guess we should try to proceed a little bit further. I mean we're we're decently leveled. So we should just head to the next area. I'm gonna head back to Melman though. We're gonna go check on everyone, make sure everyone's doing okay. Yeah, and fire your face. We're just gonna check everyone in Melman and make sure they're still doing okay. Now, thinking the world's about to end. They probably still think the world's about to end. To be completely honest. It is a Final Fantasy game, so... And the original Final Fantasy at that, so it could be that they just... Because a lot of early games didn't... Due to memory constraints, didn't really change NCP's comments all that much. Like, something would happen and they wouldn't... It wouldn't necessarily be like, oh! Come on! They wouldn't necessarily be like, oh! This has happened in the world! Why am I fighting nothing but shadows right now? I could swear that there's more enemies around here. Like those the saber tusks or whatever they were called, the tiger things? They're here. I like them. They're easy to kill. No, I'm in this way. I see the random encounters didn't light up, lighten up since the last time. Had a big recording session. Anyway, we're gonna kill some war wolves. Hey, an antidote. I don't need that. I got like 50 of them. <laughs> Here. We're back at Melman. What do you gotta say? Store the crystals great. You still say the same thing. What about you? Come here. Uh, you still say the same thing. You. Ah, stop button. Work, thank you. I'm just a farmer. Where is the light? This could nay have the Earth's Smith Domain is coming back. Well, there you go. He says the world is coming back. Slowly but surely. Doesn't look like it, but the Earth's not rotting anymore. However, the vampires still do destroy the chapel, so if anyone's dead. Don't expect to bring him to back to life there. Did I ever get the last magic spell for you? Yeah, you got three, okay. Um, we're actually just gonna go head straight to the next town after I find the item shop. Actually, there wasn't one in this town, was there? Um, nope. Well, we're just gonna head to the next town then. I don't need an inn. What's an inn? I got tents. I got tents for days. Thirteen to be exact. There's a little piece of land right on the right side of the screen. I can see you in your... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about you, piece of land. I haven't saved in slot four for like three hours. <laughs> At least three hours of gameplay. Come on, in the ship. We are going to go around this peninsula. Oh, I forgot to equip the thief with the coral sword because we're going to be shipping. It doesn't matter, they die in one hit anyway. 254! Because we can go... We're not fighting dragons, so we'll just give you that. For right now. Because we're on water. And, ah! Oh, I have... This... I have... Good... There we go. <laughs> I have a... Uh, when Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep originally released, it had the PSP skins. And I've had a PSP skin for Birth by Sleep on my PSP. I don't know if you can see it. Since I got Birth by Sleep. And I'm not taking it off. And if you could see that, you could see obviously how destroyed it is. I really need to just take it off. But when I sit here and play PSP, I sit there and I play with it with my fingers. So when it comes all undone, I'm like, holy crap, I can't fix it! Not ready to gaze. Uh, maybe I am. 
<laughs> I'm not afraid of your gaze and then it paralyzes. That would be my luck. I think this is the... Yeah, that's the Sage Cave. Um, but we're just supposed to go west, right? Just west. Well, I'm going to keep going west. Until I hit something. There's a port. Um, is there things near this port? Or did I just hit a port and hit a port? I don't know where I'm at. Ah! Come on! I took like two steps. I just have to say, the coral sword, while it looks like a piece of coral and that's kind of neat, it's not a very effective weapon. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. Oh, nope, I wanted an enlarged. Um, oh, it's supposed to come here. I'm all the way up here. Great. Wait, isn't this like where Provoca? No, not Provoca. You're Provoca. Yeah! I literally just... This Peninsula Power is right here. I can go grind and get some money, but I don't feel like it. I don't need money yet, and my nose is itching! Oh, right, you, you don't attack magic. You're Fyraga. You can burn them all. If he doesn't cast the last. Does anyone be burning them all? There we go. How did he attack before the thief? How did matches get a hit in for Deku? Whatever. Okay, we're heading this way. And, uh, leave this little area I wasn't supposed to be in anyway. There we go. There's the port. Just for good measure, right? I have Thunder Rod, don't I? Yeah. Who can fry them? Anyone want fried fish? It's new and improved Energized Sahagin. It'll get you the energy you need to get stuff done. Warning, may cause heart failure. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, game. Oh! You got some tougher enemies now. Well, only tough with the Galant, because if they do two hits. He's still my tank. It's good that he's at the top of the party. I've always wanted to, like, try the whole white mage challenge thing. And, like, do nothing but beat the game with just, like, four white mages. But if I try to do that, I can't use the Peninsula of Power because, um, at that point in the game, I don't have... I mean, I can have four white mages cast Dia and kill Minotaurs, but... Ooh, a ten. But as far as like if Ice Wolves pop up or Hail Gigas's pop up, like these guys, I would be utterly and terribly screwed. <laughs> that and I'd have to be like level 99 to take on the final boss, otherwise I, I probably get killed. I mean, once I get things like the Giant's Gloves, then I could just use Saber on myself all the time. I forget where the giant clips are at. I want to say they're with the water. Come on, troll! Kill that troll! His face actually looks kind of like the troll face a little bit. That's really weird. Did Square know about memes back then? No. I thought I hit up. Game? Are you fighting with me? We will go the rounds. And then Pretty sure I will win and lose at the same time. Person like. Okay, I have to admit. Uh, there was one thing I made a mistake about a while ago when I started playing. With the 
king. If I can figure out how to get over there. The king was talking about Lucan's prophecy. And I'm like, I don't think we ever meet Lucan again. Here he is. I'm Lucan. I see a cycle of wrath. A dim light guided by destiny. That about which our entire future revolves. That, that's all you're going to tell me? Twelve sages are we, guided to this land by the stars and a prophecy. Four great crystals exist in this world. The light that once shone within them is now lost. The four fiends of chaos block the power of the crystals, claiming it as their own. Do you not notice we got one pretty shiny crystal right down there? We did our job. We can go home. Fire, earth, water, and wind. These are the four forces that compose our world. The source of the four forces are, are the altars scattered throughout the world. Defeat the fiends that have taken root there and lift up the crystal you carry to the altar. The crystal should regain its brilliance. We already figured that out. The four fiends plot to rule the world both past and present. The fiend of wind appeared 400 years ago, followed 200 years later by the fiend of water. Together they lay waste to the civilization to the north. Fiend of Earth rots the land. No, he doesn't. He's dead. I wish I could have his head in my inventory and be like, look, he's dead. <laughs> Where the Fiend of Fire passes, all is cast in the flame. And I'm pretty sure that's our next target, is the Fiend of Fire. When all four crystals shine once more, return here. All will be revealed. Why don't you tell me now? Save us the trip. Bring the light of the four crystals to us. Warriors of Light, only you can do this. The volcano Mount Gold rises to the west of this town. The Fiend of Fire long slept within its passages, but she has woken 200 years before her time. Vanquish her before the world is consumed in flame. Well done, Warriors of Light. You have defeated the Fiend of Earth and restored the crystals like... Thank you! Someone finally realizes this is what we did. Sadly, this has drawn the notice of the Fiend of Fire, who was not to have stirred for another 200 years. Well, she can go back to sleep. I mean, unless they were dating or something, um, or like BFFs forever. Yes, I know. That's best friends forever, forever. She shouldn't have cared. <laughs> Take this canoe and go face the Fiend in Mountain Gold. Got a canoe. I've been looking for this thing. Okay. We'll leave you the weird sages alone. Funny thing is, um in the original NES version, Lucan, this guy, prophecy guy. Does he have a mustache or he's no mess? I don't even know. This guy here had the same sprite as all these guys. So he gets different in remakes. So you know he's Lucan. Even though it doesn't do much. It just kind of sits there. Meh. That is a wall that is not a path. Anyway. We got some magic. What do I want to buy from you? Notice how this is not a white mage anymore. It's a white wizard. So. Here's another issue. Exit. Transports. Party. Out of dungeons. The problem. Look who can wield. Look who can use it. Red wizard and white wizard. I don't have those yet. I can't get those for a little while longer. So I have to deal with still backing, backtracking all the way out of dungeons. But anyway, we got Stona, which cures stone. Protera, which uh, raises defense. This is like protect, only it does the whole party at once. So once you get this, protect is kind of useless. And Invisera, which is like Invis, but hits the whole party. So we're going to buy those. Nothing really curative, but everything is defensive. It helps. Stop. I swear, if I ever, if you ever see me walk back downward on my own, I say stop. It's because the button sucks. <laughs> it's and Black Wizard, yeah. I think these guys can only learn to level 6 spells. 
Level 7 and level 8, as well as Exit and Trans Teleport, are all exclusive to black and white wizards. So, we're hitting where they can stop being effective. Okay, so for Black Mage, we got Thundugger, lightning damage to all foes. We got Death, which I never really liked in Final Fantasy games. Death doesn't hit often enough for me to care about it. We have Quake, which is literally the same thing as Death, only it hits the whole, the whole enemy party. So Quake isn't like other games, it doesn't deal like Earth-type damage or anything. I explained it when I was fighting Lich, it is actually an insta-kill spell, for whatever reason. That's what it means by to swallow foes, is if the foe gets swallowed in the Quake, they're killed instantly. If not, they still live. It doesn't actually do damage, I don't think. And stun. Which, we get paralyzed, they've been able to paralyze us the whole game, but... Uh... I think if I have to choose between these two, because just to fill in the slot, I am going to take Quake. Death was originally called Rub. I don't know where they got Rub from Death. But it was originally called Rub. I should get like a list so that I can like see all the names. Because they had like a bunch of different names. It was kind of neat seeing what they had to do with they only had four character limitation. Okay. So we can buy some equipment. I actually have tons of money to buy stuff. Uh... I already have a Mithril Mail, so I'm not going to worry about that. We have a shield. Or, we don't have a Mithril Shield, but... It's not going to do anything for me. We can get a Buckler. Which I will give to Deku, who needs it. A hel Mithril Helm, which I already have equipped. And some Mithril gro Gloves. I'll go ahead and take one of those. And just to kind of fill out my inventory, I'll take one of you two. Since you're not too much. The magic is really the only real expensive thing right now. I mean, I could get, I could get along fine without, um, wait, wait, that, there we go, that's what I bought. Um, I could get along fine with equipment at, with this much money for a while, but magic is what's really going to start hurting. Oh, wait, buckler, it's actually a shield you can use. My thief, eight hours into the game, finally has a shield. Level 27. He can finally defend himself. You are a church. I don't go to church. <laughs> Where? Isn't there a... A weapon shop? There it is. What do you got? Mithril knife. Mithril sword. Ew, which is actually nice. Be nicer. Uh, we got a mithril hammer, which the white mage has. And a mithril axe. So you got attack 23, accuracy 15, attack 25, but accuracy of 10. Uh, so I think I'll give you the axe. This is a little bit better. But unfortunately, Deku can't equip Mithril Sword. This guy's just sleeping next to the grave. I see a gravestone. See a gravestone, and just a guy sleeping next to the graves. You're weird. All right. Um, uh, we got a canoe, so now we can actually explore a lot more of the world. Like, um, can I open the map? What map? Yeah. Like all these light blue bodies now, we can actually take our canoe to and explore around them. Like I can go. Over here by the Western Keep, I can go make it a little faster travel there. And go down here and go in all this and go this lake. Okay, I just got disoriented. This is the upper right of the map. <laughs> I just got disoriented. I'm like, wait a minute. Because the upper right is shaped like a bird. Um Yeah. We can now head on any of these light blue river areas. Did I just Whatever. <laughs> See how much the end costs, though. Probably gonna be like 200. Yep. Sure. 
we'll spend the night when we could in reality just go to Cornelia and spend it for 330. But I think this is pretty much everything I wanted to get done for right now. So, we're gonna go ahead and end it off here. We can canoe! We can canoe! Anyway, thanks everyone for watching, and next time we will go ahead and head to, I guess, the next dungeon. That's really the only thing we can do at this point. I don't know if I want to grind to level 30. What's the stats? Uh, that would take a little while. Unless those are the points of power. I have no real fast way of getting to without... Actually, no, because these... These are enemies on the Peninsula Power, aren't they? Other than not having Ice Wolves and Minotaur Bulls. If any of us can actually kill the thing. Let's see, how much EXP do you guys get? 310, uh, that wasn't really worth it. Oh no! I'll decide what to do, and then... Well, I'll meet you back at the beginning of Parasite. Press the like. Yeah. Thanks everyone for watching and see you.